Ground Auto My God, come on, everybody. This is Scott X Pat in the Philippines. I thought I'd take you around this side of uh, Essendon. This is where we came. Oh, we might have been around about uh, the first year Arlene was here. And um, come to. Um, the fireworks for New Year's. So I'm gonna come down here, have a look, I'll show you this area before I head back home. So we'll be back in a second. That's just a view from the top of this and here. I'll go closer in a minute guys. That's the Maribyrnong River down there, which winds all the way out to the Yarra and back up to Sombri. Let's walk in there in this little path, have a look, see what's going on this way. I thought I'll take you this way first for a bit of a look. That looks like this goes up there to an open field. So we'll go up here first, then we'll come back. Goes all the way over. That's looking straight over to East Keela that way. And actually over to Airport West, sorry, and North Essendon, my apologies. Bit of a foggy morning this morning. That's looking all over the top of East Keela. They've all made it parkland down there, guys. That's the Maribyrnong. And that's the old munitions down there, the bottom, where all those old buildings are. That's where the army munitions used to be held. Not anymore. It's all been taken away and go on now. There's a bit, that's the creek that runs up to uh, Butley Street in between where those uh, trees are, runs into the uh, Maribyrnong River down at the bottom. We'll go down there again, I'll go down there one day have a look. Might be ideal place to bring the bike and bring CJ down for a ride, learn how to ride his bike, but 
goes all the way back that way and up. We'll just go down the path here, have a look. Might get a better view looking back. Bicycle track that I'm walking down. Another part of the creek runs all the way around here. Occasionally you'll see a kangaroo down there, but not very often. They seldom venture down this way. They've made all tracks and opened it up now. And that's looking back over towards East Keela, going around Nidri Essendon on the other side. They will walk back up the other way. But uh, yeah, the little creek runs down and then runs into a big, runs into a river down there, the bottom, around in between those trees. Another walking path there to going down to the river. So that'll be interesting. Oh, and that's the sort of the creek where you can see those trees down at the bottom. Um, beyond that fence, it's only a creek there, but then it runs, opens up into the river. That's Avondale Heights on top of the hill there. It starts from this side of Buckley Street, where I'm on, runs all the way down to Kenning Street, down at the bottom of the munitions. There used to be an old guy, he used to have his own little humpy. <laughs> I mean humpy, it was like a little house for him. Now, I'm not sure whether it was on this side of the down near where those trees are at the bottom on this side of the river or it was down there at the bottom of that base of that where those trees are there and his name was old mick we used to call him old mick and he used to have a little boat and go up and down the river and uh, fish now he was really well known, uh, everybody left him alone, uh, but they sort of have uh, cleared it and then replanted all these eucalypts gum trees down here and uh, he was basically told to move on. I think he got to the point where he couldn't look after himself. And I'm not sure what happened to him after that, but the river runs all the way up to Canning Street, which is up near those buildings and the uh, light green tree uh, up the top there. And then that this river runs all the way up to Sunbury, and then sort of starts becoming a creek, and then back into a river, and small little creeks again. That's Essendon over there and Mooney Ponds, top of the hill. So we'll take a look over further and uh, have a look at uh, what else we can see down there. A bit windy today guys, 
it's uh, about 20 degrees here in uh, Melbourne, Victoria. Had a bit of fog this morning coming out of Sunbury and a light rain. But yeah, the, it sort of runs up and goes around behind that trees and uh, sort of comes into like a little creek bed over near those light brown uh, trees with the, um, I think it might be a road behind that, just in that pocket and then it just becomes uh, like a little creek that runs up. down there. This is an old uh, bluestone fence. Yeah, they made it into like a look out and an advantage point to come down. giving you different aspects of the thing. A lot of bird life, which you can see the, uh, oh, would you call it a creek? Yeah, I think it's a creek. It just runs straight out into the Maribyrn along at the base down below where those trees are. Excuse the finger. It's down a little bit, probably because the tide's out. There is a boat that goes up and down here. It's called the uh, Ladybird. The tea gardens used to be up near. Um, actually, it used to be up around where I'll oh, probably point to it. Excuse me, there, around there. Sorry if it's going out of focus. Uh, they used to have old tea gardens back in the 1800s down here. You could go down and walk along the river and uh, have scones and stuff like that. But as you can see, there's a bike track that goes all the way down the bottom there and then goes on to a normal walk track just at the bottom. But the tea gardens used to be actually, sorry. My apologies, the camera seems to be going out of focus a bit. Uh, I'll have a look at the rest of it. Hang on. Well, it's the lovely city of Melbourne uh, by the bay, as we say. That's a uh, big shopping complex over there. I think that's High Point West Shopping Centre straight ahead and the Maribyrnong runs right up right around that bend down the bottom there and up towards uh, the Yarra River looks like there's some guys working on that hill uh, making some steps or something down to the bottom of the river there. I'm not quite sure. Looks like there's steps over here. We, we might go and have a look. I think we will. But uh, yes, the um, munitions, big property the army used to have back in the early uh, heyday just before the war. They're no longer in use, guys. Nothing in there to. <laughs> yeah, it's all empty now, just old buildings. I'm not sure what that little area is down on the other side of the Maribyrnong there where the uh, trees are. I think it's. Oh, that goes around to. I'm um, sorry. It goes around to Kenning Street uh, and. Um, Sorry, that's getting straight back there. That goes around towards the um, uh, bridge, going heading around to the Maribyrnong down near um, the Anglo's Hotel. 
my apologies there, sorry I have to correct myself. I don't know what that area is over there. It looks like a little bit of an escarpment and uh, some trees at the bottom of it. So what's going on? I'll give you different aspects of the river. This is this beautiful parkland. We came here before CJ was born um, to watch the fireworks. Uh, I think it was when Arlene first came out here. Some nice houses. Another shot down there. River. We go up a bit higher, I think. That's a better shot down there, heading towards Canning Street, up around near the munitions. On that side down the bottom, around the bend, because it bends around, uh, is um, Canning Street. And on the other side of Canning Street is, uh, well, you could say Sunshine area. Up around where those houses are on the far side of the hill near that power pole. It's another shot of the river. This is what we call the Maribyrnong. It runs all the way from Sunbury down to the Yarra River. We're only just in the Probably not even halfway to the city. Um, where it flows in, they put. Uh, you can see those white things are uh, pontoons to stop the um, rubbish. But the river. Oh yeah, there it is down there at the bottom. Uh, the creek runs out there. And you can see that little bit of water go around the corner to the um, bottom right. Thought I'd bring you down and show you this part. And as I said, that's High Point West Shopping Centre up on the hill there. So there's guys building a footpath down there, and one just below them is another one. It looks like a walking track down there as well. Chased away by birds by the look of things. Ducks. <laughs> Don't think he's having a good flight today, guys. They seem to be chasing him everywhere. <laughs> he's looking for um, rabbits. 
but you're off then down here. Gliding around, minding his own business and getting attacked by magpies. I think he's disappeared in between the trees. Oh, there he is, down there. And now I've lost sight of him again. And magpies are very protected of their bird babies. Oh, yeah, there you go, and there's Melbourne. Anyway guys, this is Pete Scott, expert in the Philippines. We'll catch you later. Have a great day. Enjoy, relax and have fun. I'll probably come back on later. Oh, by the way, that's that little footbridge that goes across the Maranong there down at the bottom.